What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Ravnica Allegiance draft here on MagicTheGathering.com online. And uh, unfortunately, it actually took this queue at nine minutes to fire. And uh, that is no bueno. This is no bueno, guys. Uh, I like this Enraged Ceratoc, but I think if we're going to take a 4-4 four, four for 4, I think the Sphinx is better. It has a better evasive ability, and it has much better uh, static abilities. Uh, everything else is not really close to this. I'm just going to take the 4-4 four, four flyer for 4. Okay. Okay. And now they're like, you know what? Here's a bunch of junk for you. Here is a bunch of junk for you, my dude. So the black cards are kind of off limits for me because we're not Demir. Red cards are off limit because they're not Is It. Shut up and take my money. One no bueno, Buck. Kerwit, you are a, a scholar, my good sir. We could take one of these idiots, even though they're not great. We could take Senate Courier and maybe try to hope for the high alert deck. Yeah, I'm just going to take the Senate Courier for now. Sky Tether, not bad. Humongulus. Senate Griffin's a good pickup, but if we are hoping to get high alerts, it's not great. Whereas we could just take flyers and like sky, sky tether thing. Yeah, I'm gonna just go sky tether. I think it's good removal. Oh, I like deploy this, just dis, dispose, deploy, depose, deploy a little better than sky tether here. So I'm gonna take that. I think being able to gain some life and make two one one flyers is pretty good. So. Maybe the Sky Tether comes back. Who knows how much people uh, people value that thing. And this pack is pretty much garbage. Civic Stalwart. I don't think this card's terrible if we can pump all our flyers for a turn. I don't see Plaza of Harmony being great. I don't see Orzhov Guildgate. We could just take an early expose because I think it's good. Could take Scuttle Gator. It's playable in our deck. I think it's probably the Exposed. The Exposed is a card I will definitely play. Civic Stalwart's a card I don't necessarily care about having. Also, we do have these um, at four already, so... I think Exposed is probably main deckable, to be quite honest. I'm going to take this Forbidding Spirit. I think it's better than uh, Viscope of Vampire here. It's a 3-3 instead of a 3-1, and it's also a pretty unique ability. So I think I'm okay with that. Oh, a foil civic stalwart? Now you're now you're talking my language. Time to just take this thought collapse. I don't care about Knight of Sorrows. I don't care about this guy. Yeah, counter spells are fine. I got milled out by a screaming shield last night and it milled my expose. That is inappropriate. Mage is binding. That's a good pickup here. That is a great one. Stuff like Forbidding Spirit makes it really obvious they weren't changed from when the Azorius mechanic in early development was to copy enter the battlefield effect. Interesting. I didn't know that was a thing. I must have missed that article. Hmm. 
Um, we could take Twilight Panther and splash it. I don't think Hazda Officer is ever making the cut, whereas Twilight Panther could be just fine if we end up splashing black for anything. Same thing, same thing with Consign the Pit. Consign to the Pit. Yeah, see, now we get one of each, and if we get any Orzhov Guild Gates, it's pretty versatile. Yeah, Eighth Pick Law Mage's Binding is a pretty nice sign. Azorius is for nerds. That's correct. I'm going to take this Humungulus. We can still be on the... Um... Oh, Vampire is great here. Uh, we can still be on the, the High Alert plan. This guy's not great with High Alert. Everything else is. It's a 2-2. 4-4. 5-5. Two, two, four, four, five, five. Sure. All right. And <laughs> you came back anyway. And you're not great. I mean, we're probably just going to open, like, Lavinia here. I don't think Lavinia is worth anything, just to be clear. But I'd like to find out for sure. 20 cents. All right, so I think it's Simic Guild Mage here. Probably better than any other options. And we do need two drops. We have none. Arc Arcway Angel when we have no gates is not ideal. Ooh, Captive Audience. Can we splash for that? This is pretty this is pretty nuts and limited, right? Like this is pretty unbeatable, I think. How how deep are we going, guys? How deep are we going? Because I'm going to be honest, this pack doesn't have much else going for it. Ooh, I like a minister and there's no guild gates here. Oh, a mortify too? Oh, man, this is nice. You think it's a win more card? How does that a win more card? Win more implies you have things going for you. And then this card wins more. Like... This doesn't imply you have anything else going for you. If you slam this on an empty board, you win rather than win more. I think you're misinterpreting what min, min, win more means. Yeah, you can drop links. Sure. Knock yourself out. I think if we're actually playing this, we're going to mortify. I do like Sky Tether. It actually, we want to be able to survive until we drop this captive audience. Orzhov Guildgate is actually perfect here. I also get the point, but we're not we're not super heavy racked us here. Gateway Plaza is probably nicer than Guildgate here. Um, let's actually sort by converted mana cost here. Yeah, we'll take the gateway plaza. Maybe the Orzhov Guild Gate comes back. Shut up and take my money. Oh, okay. Oh, it's Herman Miller again. Hey, Herman Miller here again. Are you nerds sitting around on your fat butts? Buy one of my expensive shares. You'll still be fat, but with its vented seats and back, you won't be as sweaty. Yeah, I love the vented seat. It's very nice. Uh, another guild gate. These are all the guild gates we want, too, because... They're good. I hope the Arcway Angel comes back. That would be nice. Yeah, so like the one mode you're talking about. The one mode you're talking about, the, the discard mode. I agree with you there. Like they might not have anything in their hand on turn seven, right? 
But the other thing is, like, the other two modes are just, like, win conditions, right? Like, putting their life total to four or, like, like they could be at 36 life and they could have a really aggressive board and you could have, like, a 2-2 flyer. But all of a sudden, then you, you just win the game and you give them significantly fewer turns by putting their life total to four or making five 2-2 two, two zombies. Uh, is it Oligarch or is it Concordia Pegasus? This is easier to cast, but this is a significantly better card, I think. Not even going to look at 2-2 two, two for two with restrictive mana cost. We can also take out this double blue card. I don't think we're going to... We can also just be Mardu, but I think we're, our blue cards are we're a little too enfranchised in blue here. I like this better. I just think it's a better card. Rakdos Locket, you are not unplayable in this deck. Quench, you are not unplayable in this deck. Azorius Locket, you are not unplayable in this deck. He's just going to keep saying it. Wow, that is a late oligarch. Oh my god. So we're basically just Esper splashing captive audience off of Gateway Plaza or maybe like a Rakdos locket. <laughs> yeah, Herman Miller is kind of a jerk, but at the same hand, like... I don't know. What do you mean, kick you mungle thup? What does that mean? What are you saying right now? We're not going to cut him. We have no reason to cut a 2-5 five for 5. Like, it's just a super defensive creature in a deck that really wants to survive until the late game. Like, this is a great card for our deck because it blocks everything. Oh, God, how deep are we going, guys? <laughs> how deep are we going? Oh, well, there's no Guildgate in here. There's also nothing really great for us. Okay, you know what? I'm game. We're going to take all the Rakdos Guild Gates we can find. Don't you enjoy drafting for arena or do you just want to stick to MG? I, 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 it's neither of those. I do enjoy drafting for arena. I think it's great. Um, I'm also not sticking to MTGO because I, this is like the first MTGO draft I've done for like a week now. So, Creature dying cause is an ability to trigger. How many do we have? We only have two right now. This guy's probably going to get cut. I don't think this is great, but it is a 2-4, and creature tokens have Vigilance and Lifeling, which is pretty huge. And it's just a 2-4 four for 4, which is just a great, a great rate for this deck. Uh, oh, I like Lawmage's Binding a lot, but I think we might need the Rakdos Guild Gate more. I mean, we're already suckered into Rakdos. We have Bedeviled and Captive Audience, and we have three Guild Gates, so I'm really not, like... We also have a good amount of removal. We have Mortify, Bedevil, Law Mages Binding, and Double Sky Tether, so, like, I don't think we're in any situation where we really need a fifth piece of removal. Yeah, all right, so we're just basically taking all the... <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, our removal is, like... Consigned to the pit, Law Mage is binding, but Devil, Mortify, Double Sky Tether. Like, I'm not super concerned. And, like, Twilight Panther now is actually removal. Like, I, I don't think we're, like, super hurting for, like, a piece of removal when we can actually play our cool spells. <laughs> Revival Revenge. Ooh, doubling the life total seems pretty gas here. Oh, man. I think I'm okay with that. I mean, I'd like the Azorius Guild Gate, too, but... I mean, there's no reason... If we're playing Captive Audience, there's no reason to play not play Bedevil, right? Like... We literally have six six gates that are all black. Like, wait, one, two, three, five. Five gates that are black. Duh. 
doubling the life total and halving, having, halving, halve. I'm gonna take this. I think it's probably the safer pick. Yes, excellent. This is actually exactly what we wanted. Especially with our, okay, well, double Archway Archangel's really pretty good here. All right, that's pretty good. Oh, a well, final judgment and a, a final payment and a summary judgment. Hmm. Yeah, we'll take final payment. That seems good. This deck seems insane right now. This could be either an 18 land deck or a 17 land with a locket deck, so. Noxious Grudian seems fine here. And we have one, two, three. We have six gates right now. I'd like a seventh gate, but I don't think we're... Not a Simic Guild Gate. I'll just take a second expose, I think. Eh, maybe Trumpeter's actually fine. Yeah, I'd rather have a first Trumpeter than a second expose, I guess. Five mana, three, seven? That's actually probably better than the other guy. Hey, we got the second expose anyway. Alright, six Guild Gates. Is there anything we cut here? So you're going to go here. We can probably cut consigned to the pit, actually. And then just play, like, either one of these lockets. Thank you. Eric with the resub. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. All right, so what do we got here? We might play one of these or we might just play 18 lands. I think we actually play one of these. So without any, we can probably one, run one red, one mountain. So we have three red sources for two red cards. I think that's fine. Although Rakdos Locket is also an option. So let's do one of these, these classic jobbies where we go uh, properties and then we can look at the, the colored symbols here. And then we'll do a little Clipperino. Okay, white is obviously our highest. One, two, three, four, five. Nine white sources. Seems good. Okay, blue is our second. Blue is our third highest, actually, with seven. Three, four, five. We can go up to six here. Black, we have nine. Black, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is nine, eight, six so far. And then one of these. It's 18 lands. I kind of like it. I could see cutting one white for an Azorius locket. Yeah, I don't I don't hate that. I think that's actually pretty good. Like we just have a lot of like our removal is pretty great here. And we have a lot of defensive creatures, like 2-4, 3-7, 2-5, 1-4. Forbidding Spirit makes them unable to attack. Twilight Panther. This deck seems pretty cool. Wow, no gates. We do have a 2-drop that we can play. That's actually not bad. I'll keep this hand. Like, we can play this. We can play this. O3 incoming, guys. O3 incoming. Oh, I definitely want the audience. Oh my god. What are the odds? I guess high if we just jump in the queue at the same time.
Guildgate. <sighs> inverse Yargles. <laughs> That's actually pretty funny. Hey, you got an old inverse Yargle there. God, how many people... People always have this card. It's pretty ridiculous. Guildgate. Guildgate. Give me that Guildgate. Go, 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 Guildgate. That's not a Guildgate at all. Probably going to uh, discard something here. Probably one of these five drops to try to hit a land for sure. Footlight, my dude. I will block. I appreciate it. I appreciate you not attacking there. Oh, I take one. That's stupid. Uh, that's okay. All right, so I'm going to get rid of... Guildgate. It's not any kind of land. This is why I should have played 17 land, guys. Land. Let's go lock it and we'll try to hit another land. Yeah, I'll take a point here. I'll risk it for La Biscuit. Uh it's actually pretty good. Okay, so let's get rid of Tasa, unfortunately. We have nothing that triggers her at the moment. And we do have five lands. And I like that this 3-1 blocks both of their guys. I guess if they go land, this guy costs 5 to activate. Yeah, they can attack with these two. Why not Signet and have loot mana up? We just did that. Yeah, no blocks. Unless we... I mean, we could just block gain 3 and then tap them out for the turn, which I think is actually fine. Well, that's pretty good. Turn before, I'd just rather build eye to the board. I mean, we could have done this, but I mean, it's just a choice one way or the other. I actually think we're going to play Humongulus here. And then we can just keep up either white or blue here. I want to hit a, I want to hit a land so we can captive audience. That seems pretty busted. As you guys might know. Gruel Guild got. Okay, okay. I mean, I'll gladly discard final payment if we if we're able to windmill slam a captive audience. Oh, 
Also, the good thing about captive audiences is they get it immediately. So, like... I'm just going to block here because keeping this guy on the board means we can never actually profitably block. So I'd rather gain the three life out of it and just get it off the board. How many sources of everything we end up with? A good amount. I think it's like seven blue sources, nine or ten white sources, eight black sources, and like three red sources. Savage Smasherino. It's going to be another land. We're going to feel bad about discarding a very valuable final payment, but whatever. We want to make sure we can do this. So, Make your choice. Oh, when they go to four. We have an Arcway Archangel. That's pretty good. Arcway Angel, not Arcway Archangel. That's too many arcs. Too many arcs. Sure. Okay, well, that's scary. This is how we end up dying. Yeah, we don't actually need to block here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we can play one, and then we don't have enough mana to actually do that. We can go one, two, three, four. Yeah, that's. Hmm. So they either discard their hand. We could go block here. We take five, six, seven, and then they sacrifice both these guys. We go to two. Yikes. Although this just attacks them and kills them. So I'm pretty sure they're discarding their hand. So what happens if we play this? We can go, we can block here, we'll take five. They sack both of these and force us to sacrifice the Sphinx. Yeah, it gains menace. I forgot about the menace actually. So one, two, three, four, five. Double. We have the double block here. We double. Do we just double block here then? Yeah. So I guess we're just playing this. Uh, this would be seven. This would be ten. Yeah. So there's nothing we're gonna be able to play to block this guy. Ah, oh, we should have played land. I guess it doesn't matter. It might matter. Yep, that makes sense. <sighs> Draw a card. <laughs> One, two, three, four. All right, they can still activate this guy. So five, six, seven, eight, five. So we get to keep one of these guys, actually, which is nice. Don't get to kill this guy, however. Yep. Yeah, we have to watch out for this because this is putting us essentially at eight. 
or two. Yeah, it's putting us at eight, so we're just gonna double block here. They get to kill one. Yep, definitely not dead, but appreciate you thinking so. That was definitely a miss. I mean, they could have like sacked this guy and this guy to make us sack a guy, but not every magic player has the same amount of skill. Not skill, but like it's hard to see every single line. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. Oh, this is actually pretty interesting. One, two, three, four. Go to seven. We get five blockers too. That's pretty good. Do we just put them to yeah, we're gonna we're, we're gonna have to get five blockers here, right? So I don't think it's even. Uh, I think the attack doesn't actually matter because as long as we get to keep one of these, as long as we get to keep the Sphinx, I think we're fine. So I think I'd much rather just guarantee that we don't die here. And if they want to sack two guys to get rid of Arch Archway Archangel, it's totally fine. Because now we're getting five guys. That seems good. I don't know how they can deal... They, I mean, if they drew, like... No, they have to draw, like, Creature and... Oh, Footlight Fiend's actually very good, surprisingly. So, well, you have to sack both of these. We take three. So if you drew, like, Skewer the Critics, Footlight Fiend. Okay, so sack both of these. And still, We're still not dead. Frenzied Erynx is nice. I mean, if they have Skewer, one, two, three... I mean, Skewer the Critic kills us, right? We go to three. They do get to draw another card. Yep, that's pretty good. They can't pump this guy anymore, so we can actually just block with a million dudes. Is that going to be good, though? Then they make a sack of dude, though? Oh, God. Yeah, that doesn't actually work. Hmm. Oh, this guy has four damage on him, though, so we can actually block with three, right? And then we lose three guys, and they lose this, this humongous idiot. So we're dealing six to it. Yeah, that seems good. seems good one two three so what do we got we have one two three four five six seven eight gain four hmm i guess that's good right Interesting. Sack a zombie. You have more things to play? Oh my god. <sighs> this is ridiculous. I like that this just sits on the board now. That's pretty nice. I wish we could bounce this guy. Yeah, they missed at least like a few turns ago. 
I mean, we can crack this now, which is nice. Oh, wow, you're giving this guy haste? God, we are. We were doing so well, huh? I don't know what win more means. I don't know what win more eh means there. <laughs> I have no idea what you're saying right now. Um, we can go one, two, three, four, crack. We can go one, two, three, four, crack. I mean, then we have one and one. Yeah, we might need to tap. The problem is if they draw any creature, they just go sack this, sack whoever we tap and the other creature to tap the, to make us sack our guy. So I actually think the six life and the two guys is more relevant. Uh, three life, rather, going to six is... Also depends on what they hit with this guy. Six four. Yeah, all right. Uh, if we draw first, we can't actually cast this, so we don't have uh, a, a sixth blue or white. Wow, that is... What is that, the third Savage Smash? Jesus Christ. It's pretty obnoxious. So one, two, three, four, five. They did not actually draw enough to. Uh, they didn't draw enough to pump this guy. So we can actually just double block here. Try to take this dude out. Oh, it's an eight six, not an eight four. What wasn't it a six four? Oh, the smash. Oh god, I'm so stupid. No, we couldn't crack lock at first. One, two, three, four. We crack the locket. We have one white. We do not have a second blue up. If we go. Well, like there's if we go this two three four we have one blue and we have a second white up we can't crack lock it we don't have six mana you need four blue or white and then another blue or white for this so you need six total blue and or white sources this will get sacrificed one two three four five we were one shy we cannot like we could hope to draw a plains or an island but we have to know which one we're going to draw first in order to tap correctly yeah smash was rough there All right, nicely done, nicely done. Okay, so. I kind of like consigned to the pit here. Man, we saw no Sky Teller, no Law Mages Binding, no Mortify, no Bedevil, like we saw a very 
Actually, very few cards that game, surprisingly. Hmm. I might just take out the locket. What are we bringing an expose against? Did we see an enchantment or an artifact? Oh, just for the guild? No, I don't think it's that great. I mean, I think the card is great. Don't get me wrong. I don't think it's. I don't think we really need to get rid of it though. Like it's a five mana card that like. It's really strong, but. You did see twelve lands though. Good to know those are still around. Yeah, and the last three cards we drew were all lands. So, eh, what can you do? Seems good. Six gates in the deck, and we draw four of our islands, which I think is all of them. And a panther, which we can't activate, and a six drop, so. This'll do. Yep, you'll do too. Alright, we're just gonna keep all the gates. Glad to know you're still here, lands. Perfect Bedevil mana. <laughs> swamp Swamp Rakdos Guildgate. Although we have drawn seven lands, two cards. So, you know, we got that going for us. Magic is hard. Magic is a hard game. See, that guy I'm just going to kill because he's really obnoxious. Cool. Seems good. <laughs> just like oh man dude I'd love to think it's in my head but you know seven lands two spells yep sure Okay, I'm on board. Not going to attack anymore, but I'm on board with whatever is crack a lack in here. Have you tried drawing spells? I've considered it. I wouldn't say I've tried it. I have considered it, though. But then they just activate this to sack both of these, right? That seems bad. Yeah, it's, it is what it is, right? Like, oh wow, I would have sacked. I would have definitely sacked Full Life Fiend and Priest to to make me sack this guy. Wow, that was that was actually pretty good for us. Eight lands, three spells. I mean, we can play anything we draw now. Including a captive audience next turn. God, and I was considering playing 18 lands. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? That's okay. Mm, 
guess you need a white source here. All right, we'll just put a white source on this guy. Activated abilities can't be activated. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, I didn't want to use that before they activated because then they just activate in response. That doesn't do anything, I guess, but. Both of these are very, very uh, useful two mana creatures in limited. They also have four cards. We have two cards. No blocks. Yeah, I feel like we're losing this match, unfortunately. Must be nice. Oh my god, Josh, what is that dude? Is that just like a tear in the middle of the screen? Is it cracked? What is happening there? Yep, that was pretty good. I just gave you a thing to... Yep, another guild gate. Seems good. <laughs> okay, we're just gonna... Uh, yep, just having a good time. Having a good time. Um, I don't really want to take a million, so I'll just block this guy and make a free token. Like, they could also just pump this guy and attack us for nine here, which is pretty brutal. I don't want to go to six. God, I wish I could draw spells like they do. That's, that'd be amazing. <laughs> yeah, sure. It just pay, use the mana that's in the pool, man. Why do I have to... God, so many redundant clicks here. This is why you guys are asking me, like, what do I like Arena for? And I'm like, once it, once you go back to Magic Online, you're like, I have to click everything three times in order to, to do the same thing. It's so much, there's so many redundant clicks on Magic Online. This is fine. We'll gain three. We'll take two. We'll go to 12. We're having a good time, guys. It's okay. It's okay. There's good times being had right now. Yeah, just get in there with everybody. I'm at 12. What? If I block here and you pump this guy, I go to 3. Instead, now I go to 10? Interesting. Interesting. Come on, MTG Pyro, get it together. Get it together, dude. Why did you submit a deck with no spells? You got me. Welcome to my empty my magic my digital magic experience.
two <laughs> good games. Those were not good games. Those were miserable games for me. You'll see it in the YouTube video. Like, we drew, like, 12 lands a game. And, uh... You drew, like, a million Savage Stomps and Savage Smashes, whatever that card is. Good games in the sense that, like, I had no... I have no ill will towards you and I had fun playing Magic against, uh, against you, but... Bad games in the sense that, boy, those games uh, did not play out very well, so... I'm game. This hand already looks infinitely better than any of the hands we've had last in the last match, so... Yeah, it was pretty rough. Losing when I actually have a captive audience on board is pretty insane to me. It's gonna be Azorius Lockett, you ready? Oh, it's a captive audience, my dudes. Still nothing to play, though. I mean, if we can draw a red source, like Rakdos, Rakdos uh, Guildgate into any land would, you know, I'll deal with it. Because this is actually 12 life, final payment's just fine. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, not a red source, unfortunately. I'm going to block here. And they're going to... Oh, no, no tax. All right. Okay. But excuse me. Oh, boy. Naturally draws the red source like you do. Hmm. Yeah, we're just going to do this because, like, if they happen to have a guy, I don't want you to be able to search for it. Like, if they happen to have drafted two of these, there's no there's no reason to give them a, a way to, to cast it. Or to get it out of their deck for free, rather. <sighs> Come on. Do we just play around Quench? God, Quench would be so bad. One, two, three, four, five, six, whatever. actually fucking kidding like it's unbelievable i actually have no words <laughs> that's unbelievable dude oh my god guess we could have waited till we had nine just wait till you have nine mana no big deal of course they have a quench why wouldn't they good if only I played it this turn that would have been good right so dumb i'm still like i'm just so tilted after like after the first match followed by like quench on captive audience like give me a break yep i only have one card in hand i feel like our board is actually reasonable considering that but Sure. 
God, I wish I had a way to get this captive audience back. Like, frustrating. So they could double block here. We could take out the Aeromungulus. Munculus? Munculus? Mungulus and Munculus. It's, it's a buddy cop show. Munculus and Mungulus. Two buddy cops trying to take down the establishment. Well, I don't know how we punch through now. Captive audience is like our main win condition. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I guess we could have just waited until we had nine, right? One is a, hum a homunculus. The other is a also a homunculus. There are two homunculuses in a world full of homunculuses. <laughs> Catch them every week. One is a homunculus. The other is a homunculus mutant. Well, you know what they say. When your opponent has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana up and they don't play anything, the odds of them having a counter spell is probably a thousand percent. So we're just going to keep on passing. Uh, sure. Thanks for the frog, my dude. Nice. Okie dokie. It was a two for two. Like they used, they wasted Arrestor's admonition. They lost these two cards. We lost our creature, and they drew a card. So it was the two for two. Yeah, like they got rid of Archangel, and they drew a card, and they got rid of these two cards. So. Okay, that's actually a great draw. <laughs> we can either gain a million life or just keep discarding our shit draws. That's actually really good. Okay, I'm okay with it. Wow, this is a lot of Sphinx's Insight. I did not think uh, people were playing two Sphinx's Insight in their main decks. I guess it's literally just inspiration, right? Like you draw two, and if you just happen to play it during your main phase, there's an extra, extra two life in it for you, but... Has Defender and loses Floaty Boats. I don't think we need to use that right now. I'll just play the land. I don't know how I don't know how we actually win this game is the problem.
Sure. This is what I was concerned with. As soon as they find an answer to that guy, it's pretty good for them. You guys ever live in a world they ever don't have it? I can only imagine what it's like. I can only imagine. Get him down to 18. Basically did. Basically did. hilarious because i'm like hey let me get rid of your aeromungulus and they're like that's okay i just I exactly i drew another one right now it's actually incredible i drew another one right at this moment so like all the things you get rid of i just have extras it's totally fine All right. I mean, I feel like it's going to come down to decking at this point, and we have 12 cards versus the 14 cards, which is pretty rough. It's almost like by trying to dig for more answers to deal with their cards, like we actually cursed ourselves a little bit. block either of these guys. I just don't care enough. Uh, this is also 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 lands. We have three lands on our 12 card deck. Sure. Okay, well now they're down to 12. Okay, that's not bad. So many dudes, so many ground boys.
A big fat idiot crocodile. One, two, three, four, five. We have black, red, red, blue, and white, sure. No, there are one, two, three lands in the garbage. Actually, maybe this guy attacks and we just actually let it through. Uh, no, I don't want to loot because we're at 10 cards. There are 10 cards. I don't know if we actually have enough spells in our deck to win this game. With the board looking like this. So we might actually have to hope they draw an extra card and... You know, win that way. Oh my god, are you serious right now? Oh, actually... Cool fairy duelist, bro. This is a clog board, my dudes. <laughs> that croc is a unit. <laughs> what does that even mean? Is that a math joke or is that just like a... I don't understand what you're saying right now. Uh, vigilance, you have a 1-2. You have another 1-2. Yep, that'll do. Let's try not to die. Let's play this guy. We're gonna we're gonna hydroid crash this at some point, my dudes. I hope you guys are ready. Oh my god, their deck is really sweet. Golly. I think we're both on the same page here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. There is one land in the next six cards. I really don't think there's any other spell in our deck that's actually gonna make a difference here. If we could shuffle our deck back in, that would be such gas. I forgot about that. It's pretty brutal. That is pretty miserable. They have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have eight. We have eight. They have more creatures than us. This is game one. <laughs> Oh, God. Is there any card in our deck that lets an opponent draw cards? I wish Magic still did that. I wish I could, like, target them with the Sphinx's Insight or this. Target player draws a card, then discards a card. Why can't we do that? Sure. All right, last land in the deck is right here. 
Oh, Viscopa Vampire. Yeah, we're just going to go to the next game. This is a stupid waste of time. Although it's good to know that like, if we actually drew one fewer cards... Yeah, none of those cards would have actually done anything for us. Wow, that's brutal. Locket comes out. Oh, can you imagine if we didn't... If we just didn't have the captive... The captive audience getting countered was literally the... What did it? Oh my god. Can't even handle it. Actually, I do like there's transport over the, like, crocodile. Well, they have Quench and they have the other one. They have the Frilled Mystic, so... Any DNA drafts coming up? Uh, no, I don't. It's a bad. Uh, uh. What does that stand for? Davnica Allegiance? you are oh this hand seems good i'm gonna keep it for all you normies that didn't get it wow do i have like an eyelash or something here what's going on oh that was a good draw because now we can play oligarch into this guy and we can also just play bedevil at some point At some point, you know. So do we play Guild Mage? Probably. Just having something to do with like two life a turn or looting is pretty nice. Making your way in the world today takes everything you got. Wow, you're dead, Josh's monitor. Jesus. Brutal. Wouldn't you like to get away? Yeah, I definitely don't want to mortify and have them just end up uh, doing the deed for this. Uh, let's bedevil. Uh, bedevil is more limited in this format. Like, we can limit it. It's more limited. Like, this also gets rid of the Law Mage's Binding, whereas, like, I don't think they had another artifact or a Planeswalker that we really care about there, so. I also have no desire to loot here. Both the cards in our hand are pretty okay. Even this guy just says 3-3 three, three for 3 is fine. Oh, it's old Chili Boy. I 
I feel like we're ahead enough to do that. Like, as we saw, 3-3 is actually one of their bigger creatures outside of, like... Yeah, sure. Just infinite chillbringers. You got it. I mean, this is also definitely a game where we don't mind waiting until turn 7,000 to, oh, to play that. To specifically play that. One, two, three. Frilled Mystic, this guy? No. Okay. Quench this guy? No? Okay. Seems good. I'm not in the always loot camp, no. I think you have a limited number of good spells in your deck. Like, let's say you have 10 good spells in your deck. In a limited deck, particularly. Um, I never want to get to a point where I'm throwing away good spells. Because I want different good spells in my hand. Let me just keep passing here. They only We saw two counter spells, so... I'll wait till we have eight to play this just to play around Quench. In response? Law Mage is binding? Oh, sure. Fat boy coming through. Wow, they didn't actually counter that. Are they keeping both alive? Yeah, they've been keeping both alive since the beginning. Like, you can't play modern, legacy, vintage, or cube drafts on MTG Arena. There's no reason not to keep both alive. Because that was an interesting block. You know, you guys you guys know how I feel about debtor's transport? Damn boy, he thick, boy! That's a thick ass boy! Damn! Ba -ba! Okay, so they don't have frilled mystic mana? Oh. Oh god. Oh, it's happening. We're doing it. Ooh, pick it, boys. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it. Get that noise. The dentist definitely knows the duck bear makes. I agree with you. Four life has been chosen. They always pick four life first. <laughs> oh boy. I mean, as far as I know, I didn't see anything that destroys this. I mean, they could expose it. If they get rid of it somehow, it's I mean, it's whatever, right? Like they've already taken 16 off of it, so Yeah, that's fine. I'll block with my 1/4. Uh, yeah, let's just play Angel here.
All right, we either get zombies or you lose your whole hand, my dude. And the game is over. Okay, so captive audience. It definitely didn't win more because we weren't winning to begin with. It won out of nowhere, is what we're saying. I'm tempted to bring this quench in, actually. Probably for Twilight Panther, actually. Twilight Panther doesn't seem great in this matchup. Neither does Forbidding Spirit, really. I almost kind of want, like, big fat five drop to just attack them with. Let's do that. Um, uh, I'm going to keep this hand because we have Sphinx in here. Okay, how do I do it now? Performing opening hand actions, I did. Uh, scry at the beginning of your first upkeep. Okay, so let's see if that happens. Oh, it does. I will keep the black. I will bottom this and this. Wow, that was pretty nice. Seems good. Oh, you have one too, I see. That's weird, we didn't see that in the entire game. Oh, I like the main phase there, that's nice. What is love? Man, big man, bear, pig, don't hurt me, no more. So, what are we just mortifying this? Yeah, I rather just, I rather just play to the board. It seems like they have six there, so I don't think they have quench. Oh, they're tapping out here. That's pretty okay with me. Wow. Wow, they know we have 4-4 four, four flyer, though. Were they just hoping we didn't have second blue? What do they have? They have summary judgment. That's what they have to get rid of this guy. So we can keep up. We can make sure to keep up final payment in the future. Also, being able to scry every single turn. Oof. That is a. That is what's known as a steal, my friends. Sure. <laughs> keep on bouncing. I mean, the loot is great, but... get to scry here um we don't have red so i want to bottom this it's actually pretty good I mean, if they have summary judgment here we're gonna final payment kill this Fairy Duelist. Sure. It's actually fine because we get two 1-1 flyers out of it. Okay, it doesn't look like they have Summary Judgment here, which is kind of nice.
what is this? I don't, I, I don't know. Oh, is it just gonna draw two? EOT, interesting. Yeah, it's fine. Beer tasting is done. Heading home to watch the steaming pile of odd. The deck was fun. I had a good time. Oh my god. Just letting me keep scrying every turn. Oh yeah, we'll keep that. <laughs> That's a nice little guarantee there. Um, do we actually even attack with these? They block one. No, I guess we don't have to. We can just get out these two. We can also mortify and thought collapse, which is pretty nice. Right, but they had somebody judging on their turn. Like, they just passed their turn, right? So. This is fine. And they just quad block, and then we'll just kill the Senate Guild Mage. And if they want to counter it, they have to use Frilled Mystic, and then we can counter the Frilled Mystic, so. Yeah, this feels good. And what we hit? We hit a Sphinx's Insight, and a, a Hero, and an Impassioned Orator. So, that's fine. We're going to draw a captive audience. You guys ready? Clear the mind. Oh wow, I think they were solid. They, they were like after game one, they're like these are some grindy, grindy matches we're gonna be playing. So I'll shuffle my things back. Sure. Uh, bottom that. We don't need a seventh land unless it's a red source for captive audience. So one, two. We can also just kill this guy and attack with everything, and then they'll go block, block, and they they can't actually they can block one of these, and they have to trade. I think I like that. So they eat one of these guys, and they block, like, here, probably, and they'll take three, go to three. Sure. Actually, I don't even think I like the, um, I don't actually think I like the, uh, Zorius guild in the deck. Zorius locket in the deck. I mean, based on the amount of lands we have drawn. And of course, it's in our opening hand. Uh, we can mulligan this. Yeah, this is actually pretty good. 
I will keep this on top because we do want some lands. And we can give it a positive too. Yes. Mistakes were made. I think it's actually just better to play this now. I don't think Twilight Panther is going to be that relevant. Uh, so it's actually a pretty easy card to loot. You got it. Maybe actually, maybe it's maybe it's fine now because it's straight at thirty three. No blocks. It's a lot of lands. Um, get rid of you. Play this. Play this guy. The problem is we're at the point in the, in the early game where like we don't want to actually discard our lands yet. One, two, three. No, we're gonna keep this up. Yeah, that's that's the smart thing to do. So now we can either loot or draw a card. Are you gonna have thought? This is one of the more innocuous cards in my deck. I would not expect you to thought scour this or thought essence capture. Sure. I want to loot here. We're just going to gain two. Mmm. I see. Well, now I want to hit a land, so. Yep. So this is four life each. That's pretty good. We also have a red for a uh, captive audience. They have seven cards in their hand? My god. Or we just play Locket here. Maybe we just play Locket here. I think we're actually okay just playing Locket here. Are we just playing Locket here? Let's just play Locket here. I mean, if they have any number of counter spells in hand, Quench, Essence Capture, number two, the Thought card, I don't know what it's called. Let's just play Locket here. 
So now they have four mana. I mean, at the very least, we can draw another land and play around Quench. And, like, this is just keeping us even, so I don't really... There's no real pressure here. That's actually fine. Big fat crocodile. I have another essence. Oh, now you're now you're actually countering it. Absorb. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Let's get him out of your hand. Squanch, thought card, essence thingy, all the classics. You're hitting all the, all the right modes there. Okay, now we're just gonna windmill slam the. Uh, the Archway Angel. Yeah, that's fine. Why are you playing draft and MTGO instead of MTG Arena? Because I like mixing it up. Because I don't I'm not I'm not forced to play on one or the other. That was a real counter spell, no joke. Captain Volume's off the top. Oh, dang it. Whatever, I'll gain four and put a three four flyer on the board. I'm okay with it. Get busy squanching. Sure. I don't know what pump spell white and blue has, but yeah, okay. What is? I don't know what that. That seems like a terrible use of that. <laughs> okay. That was less than ideal. Mm, okay, well. <sighs> One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. We can actually crack this and still play an oligarch if we want to. I would like to hit land drops, right? Yep, that's a good one. And if you want to quelch this, yeah, you know, yeah, all right. So sure, they just have—they just did a, literally did have like infinite counter spells. One, two, three, four. We still have seven mana, so I'm still okay with it. And we actually have one more gate for the Arcway Angel, which is why we didn't play this last turn. This is all fine. Gain eight. Seems good. Yeah, that card's pretty good. Especially when we don't have any recourse for it. We don't have anybody to really get it off the board. I think now we're going to more aggressively loot here to try to find captive audience. No. No. Don't be squanching on grandma. Oh man, this Twilight Panther is pretty bad at this point. Yeah, I guess we still have Mortify. Maybe we shouldn't have wasted that yet. We still have Mortify and Bedevil in the deck. We put Bedevil on the bottom, I think. Should 
Jesus. Really? Sure. <laughs> oh, get wrecked for using it during a main phase, idiot. It sucks because all the blue, all the blue and white removal we have is based on like leaving the things on the board. So like they still get plus one plus zero. Oh, our guys still get negative one negative zero. Oh. Thank you. Hmm. Diagraphs twenty eight months in a row. Thank you so much, man. I really appreciate it. I don't think this does anything now. I'm pretty sure it still stays in combat, but. I mean, that's fine. I'm gonna use it. There we go. Don't have quench. Just don't have a second quench that you chose not to play on this. I mean, are you serious? Okay, that's fine. Whoo! All right, maybe they discard their hand because it's nothing and they're like, let me get rid of the one good card in my hand. That's understandable. All right, here we go. All right. Oh, you're gonna give me five five zomboys. Okay. Eight mana. Is this where they mass manipulation steal like Archway Archangel and like oh, Humungulus? <laughs> Probably. I guess I guess you can't target Humungulus, sure. Yep, and it was a mass manipulation. Pretty amazing. Oh, boy. Wow. This is just brutal. They're going to discard their hand. Oh, four life. Fascinating. <laughs> I 
Sure. Oh man, Arrestors Admonition dot draft is overplaying here, guys. You have, a, you have a, a, a final card in your hand? Wow, Arrestor Zeal, sure. <laughs> kill the kill the card that doesn't actually do anything. Seems good. This is actually ridiculous. Like, this one card is actually destroying us right now. Yeah, I think we're gonna... Actually, they, I mean, they have four minutes less than us. Maybe we just wait it out and see what we... We have no flyers anymore, so we're taking three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Yeah, that's gonna be game. We're gonna draw a guy. We're gonna block here. They're just still gonna kill us, so... Okay, seems good. All right, let's get rid of Sky Tellers and Twilight Panther here. We'll get rid of the Azorius Locket. We'll bring in... Thought Collapse, a Quench, Consigned to the Pit, probably Transport, like Transport is just big enough to get through everything is what I like about it. Wow, this is a great hand. <laughs> And we get the scry three? Sure. So we have four lands. Kinda just want to keep all of these. I definitely want the counter spell. I definitely want the guild mage. I think we can bottom the oligarch. So I really don't want to actually play this because I have no desire to get it just quenched. I think it's a extremely strong long game card. Thanks for another stream. There's a shortage of it and I dig watching it. I play Arena and Moto, but I'd rather watch someone stream Moto than Arena, I guess. Also, you're pretty cool, I guess. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. This guy. We can just play around Quench here. I think that's fine. You know, absorb this? Sure. All right.
Island, Mountain, Sphinx is in sight. That's actually fine. I think this is a matchup you want to draw in. Lots of trading resources and counter spells opponent taking along. Yeah, I mean, that's fair. Okay, so now we do get to play our Sphinx. Thought card. What is it? Thought collapse? <laughs> thought card. Uh, squelch. Thought card. Hmm. No blocks. I think I'm good. Sure. I'm gonna put this on the bottom because we want lands, unfortunately. Yep, yeah, that was actually a great draw. Now our Archangel gains eight. Uh, we have multiple oligarchs in our deck, so. Interesting. Sure. So I just get to eat this guy for free? Oh, we got rid of a mass manipulation. That's pretty good. And we get to untap. They obviously don't have quench, so we get to untap play Arcway Angel. If we don't hit, if we actually hit a land, we get to play uh, bottom captive audience. Seems good. Moz sticks go? What does that even mean? <laughs> oh, what? All right, give me them zombones. Okay, you got it. It's a two for one. Like, it's actually like a five for one. All right. Oh, it's almost mozzarella stick time. I didn't even see that. All right, well, that's a thing, I guess. God, I get to scry every single day. Bottom. coming at you <laughs> okay exactly exactly seems good That captive audience definitely helped you win more than you were. Yeah, well, I was. That's what that was the goal there. All right, this hand is pretty bad. Any white source though. 
Are we on the draw? Oh, I'm keeping it on the draw. Any white source lets us play like a million things. They went to five on the play. Oh man, we're so we're in such good shape right now. That's what you need. That's what you need there. I'm actually going to take five and kill this thing immediately. I don't need them to be... I don't need them to be like... We also have Mortify in hand, so I'm like, I don't need them to be looting and finding their best cards when they're already mulled to three. Clear genius. Well, you know, I don't want to brag about it, but yes, that's correct. Let's play with Island, and we're actually just going to cast this and make two flyers. I'm okay with that. Shut up and take my money. Frank is working OT today. It is appreciated. OT? And working overtime. Look out. Is that a... You lose the news? sure <laughs> hey you got it dude one two three four five we have six six mana right now so we can cast most things in our deck Actually, great. Yeah, that's actually a pretty reasonable draw. We could also kill this guy and then attack with like. OT on the working from home. Nailed it. Can a dude get a red land? Is it too much to ask for a red land? Well, that could give us a future red land. Now I'm tempted to kill this because they're they're two mana off of the other guy. And I really don't want to like slow my clock down by that much. Those buffing gentlemen. What do they do with the card? They put it on top or bottom? 
they put it on the bottom, sure. That's a that's a good way to unmulligan. To unmulliganos. I still think we're way ahead, but two three threes. It's kind of obnoxious. Working overtime, work out. Actually, this crocodile's friggin' huge. You must call upon the mountain. <laughs> oh. How did I get into magic? God, a friend of mine taught me in like eighth grade. Yep, there he is. There he is. If we attack with everything, it does nothing. So we're just going to slam this. Gain two. And then we got blockers for this Azorius Skyguard. I guess we already had blockers, but... Yeah, that's fine. Don't care about that, idiot. The problem is they can just hoard all the counter spells. I mean, I guess we could just gain infinite life here. Hmm. I don't think playing this does anything. Maybe it does, because we it gets another flyer on the board. I think it's fine. If they want to absorb our Imperius Oligarch, then... Wow, this is actually a crazy thing to use a counterspell on. Yep, that is a big dude. You got it. You got a big dude. Essence thingy. <laughs> oh, crying out loud. This is an aggressive attack. That would have been good. Where were you last turn? We still have uh, consigned to the pit. We have bedevil if we hit a red source. And we have infinite blockers, so I'm not too concerned with this, but... Oh. 
Rakdos Guild Gate. Oh, we're still going to keep that. <laughs> Come on, Red Source, my dudes. I mean, we have one mountain in the deck as well, which we can hit, which is we have like a 1 in 19 chance. 5%, 5%-ish. And then we have a uh, Gateway Plaza and a Rakdos Guild Gate for the other one. So it's like 3 and 19, which is like 1 and 6. Yeah, we can go to 8 here. They also have 6 cards in hand now. Like, they've, they've completely turned the game around, unfortunately, but... I really just want to cast this now, but I guess we can cast it EOT and keep up Counterspell. I don't think the two life is super relevant when we have Senate Guild Mage on board. And we have lots of Thopters to block, so. Yeah, that's a bit much, because that turns this into a formidable threat and this into a formidable... Actually, that doesn't do anything, really. Yeah, that's actually fine. Like, this guy we're still going to have to block. We didn't have a chump blocker for it. And these guys I don't really care about. 2-4 and 4-4 four, four don't do anything against 2... Yeah, this just doesn't do anything. Block you. Block you. Block you. Oh, they got indestructible. I'm so stupid. Wow, that's so bad. Oh, God, that's so bad. Oh, they didn't actually line them up correctly. So I guess we... Uh, no, no harm done. <laughs> no harm done. Everybody wins. Whew. All right. Mountain off the top. I don't hate that. This is probably better because we get to gain life off of this. Double Orzhov Guildgate. Yikes. That is the wrong Guildgate. There were two Guildgates that we wanted to draw. That was neither of them. So we've seen Absorb. We've seen... Okay, 3-4 is still not a real issue here. And they have tapped out in such a way that, like, we can't really care about it. I'm just going to take 6 here. Okay, we're definitely going to try to hit red here. It's also very good. All right. We can get rid of the Bedevil, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, one, two, three, one, two. We can play Tasa and we can play Law Mage's Binding. And we can play Guildgate. I don't like being at four, though. We do have three flying blockers, so. I mean, they do only have four minutes on the clock, and we have nine, so it's, it's definitely possible. Yeah, I kept a card on top. Seems good. 
And we gain six next turn, so I'm not super upset about it. We can just chump block here. that do it I mean do they have a counter spell in hand God we can wait one turn we can have this I think this is better to be bait than the other thing and we gain six here so it's pretty good We're definitely not discarding anything. Like this is a situation where where captive audience will definitely probably win us the game. Will definitely probably win us the game. And they kept a card on top, but they oh it's they probably just kept mass manipulation right to steal something. I'm sure. No. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, now we can play around quench, and they don't have another counter spell. That's pretty good. Um, we're definitely just going to take this. With Senate Guild Mage on board, it shouldn't be a real issue to gain this life back. Oh, you have Summary Judgment. Seems good. Sure. Well, <sighs> spoke too soon, I guess. <laughs> we waited oh man one two three four five six so i guess we're just naturally hoping to uh welcome back my boys uh, quench is actually not terrible because if they have mass manipulation or something it's actually pretty good Yeah, I guess that's fine. I don't think I care about that. This 3-7 is really doing some work. They have 2 minutes and 29 seconds left. This is actually a pretty long... This has been a long match. Oh my god, with captive audience, with uh, quench backup. <sighs> Damn, boy! He's thick, boy! That's a thick ass boy! Damn! Ba -ba! I mean, I'm sure they're gonna. No, they just go to four. They have one, two, three flyers. We have one, two, three flyers as well. Yes! Yes! Be a mass manipulation. I'm about to bust. What else you got? You got mass manipulation, absorb, precognitive, mesmerizing benthid. What else you got here? Give me a reason to get rid of this Imperial Oligarch so I can get two one one flyers. on the guild gates so they one two three four five six seven one two three four five six their blocks are good taste that gets blocked here three four blocks three four three three blocks three 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 blocks three four or, or here yeah yeah I miss them. Uh -huh. they both well actually how many floaty boys three one two three four they have three flyers we have five flyers so they would take two and they'd lose at least one of these guys
Like, they can't actually double block any of these, and they have to actually block... I think it's actually safe to attack here. No, I don't think it is, actually. Because <laughs> we're at 6, so, like, if they do make good blocks, like, we go to we go to 8, and then they have... So if they block 3-3 three, three here, they get a 1-1, one, one, which is actually a 2-1. Oh, these have Vigilance? Yeah, the fact that these have Vigilance is extremely relevant here. Fly, 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 sure. Got three Vigi boys. <laughs> do I get the Ray Parker Jr. emote? Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Okay, that they bounce. They also have 52 seconds to like make blocks. All right, that guy dies. Okay, well, we're definitely killing your Windstorm, Drake, and you're taking three and going to one, and we're going to a million. Is there any reason to play land? I don't know. Now they have two flyers. It's only four power on board. We have three flying blockers. They have three creatures with power on board. I'm pretty sure we're in good shape here, but I have no idea what they're casting now for a million. Oh, God. They just top decked it, whatever it is. God, I'm really like, I'm actually stressing right now. We have a captive audience. We have a better board. They're at one life. They just top decked a card. I'm really curious what it is. Oh, God. Oh, they just have two seconds left. I guess we just win then. <laughs> okay. Well, there we go. That seems good. That's how you do it, I guess. And a nice a classic little 2-1. The only one we lost was by uh, MTG Pyro, uh, who was a subscriber, coincidentally. But thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. I will check you check me out on Patreon and Twitch. Those links are in the description below as long with uh, as long with along with meundies.com slash Frank Lepore. You will get 15% off along with free shipping and free returns, so be sure to check that out as well. Uh, and thank you guys for watching. Be sure to slam those like and subscribe buttons. Every subscribe helps. And if you hit the bell, you'll get notifications whenever I go live. Or not whenever I go live, but like whenever I post a new video to YouTube, which I do. So thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. I'll see you, you next time.